guys, we he got this thing. He actually pulled the damn uh, cradle out. All right, that's what we need this for the cross member to hold the engine up while we drop the cradle. Let me show y'all why because this is getting crazy. Here's why: uh, the oil pan. Now that's a Hemi, right? Get a load of this. this oil pan is plastic. Yeah. Uh, when they get a stress crack in them, or a crack, or even a rock that bangs on it or whatever, put a little pinhole in it. Man, we don't try to seal these. Yes, there's a gasket right there. But I don't even know if it's replaceable uh, because we never attempt to reseal a freaking plastic oil pan. Are you out of here? Get out of here with that. All right. So if your oil pan leaking in this plastic, you're getting a damn whole oil pan. Good news is, look, it comes with the strainer built into it. All right. So, yeah, this, this thing is uh, out of here. I don't know. Plastic oil pans. What y'all think? Yeah, it's crazy, right? That didn't even sound like cheap plastic. Uh, that's actually why this over here. We use that to... Uh, I should have got y'all some visual of the cradle being dropped. But we all know how a cradle is. That's the only way you can get to the damn uh, oil pan. Okay? Uh, yeah, in fact, hold on. Let me show y'all something. Alright, so... Ooh, I see something off the bat that don't look good guys please don't do this all right this is a young guy doing this i'm gonna wear his ass out when i see him don't leave these damn calipers hanging like that you putting strain on that line that don't need to be okay yes you can do it i've seen don't get in the comments saying i do it all the time nothing happens well we don't want to risk anything happening you don't want to stress stress those damn brake lines okay yeah i've been doing brakes a long time too i've been known to do that but definitely not i'm freaking okay let me stop. Don't do that. All right. Uh, plastic. Oh, look at it. Ain't she pretty? Yes. You cannot drop this oil pan with this freaking cradle in the way. It's just virtually impossible. And it's a four-wheel drive. You see that front differential? So you would catch pure hell. There is no way. So if you don't have the tube, which is this, to jack up the cradle next down, you in trouble. But we have the tools, and we made it easy, and we charge accordingly. So you're going to pay. It's going to cost you big time. Ain't no way that oil pan coming out of here. The rack and all had to come out. So just bring the whole cradle out. Nice, pretty drain plug. Oh, my goodness. Ain't she pretty? Yeah. Plastic, guys. Now, this is not a 8HP transmission. So the pan is not plastic. We got a steel pan transmission and a plastic. <coughs> yeah, go figure. Well, anyway, guys, this is one shot of know what you're up against if you're working on a what the hell is this city del durango i don't know what year well we got to hook up the suspension and again don't leave these damn calipers hanging like that wait till i see this guy i'm gonna give him a piece of my mind of course the motor mounts come on he got a lot of stuff to remember to put back together but we won't have that oil leak no more that's what matters all right so all right i gotta go all right guys i'm a little on the fifth side this is one of my customers y'all hear that noise all right, guys, that don't sound like an alternator, but here's what she got me to put on this car. See, this is what happens when you don't diagnose your own problem. Listen to that. I don't feel growling coming from this thing. I can sense it's coming from here. Somebody misdiagnosed this car. All right, let's do this, guys. Let's, I'm going to take this belt off, and we're going to start spinning accessories. Hold tight. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm gonna fuss her ass out. See, this is what happened when I don't die. She don't let me diagnose it. She took it to another mechanic. Here's what they told her she needed an alternator. So she bring me an alternator to put on. No, I'm about to make a phone call. Listen at that. Oh my goodness. Alright guys, I gotta take a trip to AutoZone. Let's get it. 09 Jeep Grand Cherokee. 3.7 liter gas. That's right. Y'all hear that noise? Let me shut up. I know y'all hear that, all right? Now, what could that be? Take a look at that water pump, guys. In fact, let me turn it off and give you a closer look of that water pump. But once again, listen to this noise. That's bad, hold tight. Before I take the belt off, I want y'all to see something. Y'all see that? That's a lot of play. Now, here go the big test right here. Y'all see that? 
Ladies and gentlemen, we need a water pump. Ooh. That's what making that noise. P0740, guys. Torque converter clutch solenoid circuit or something like that. Well, anyway, this is one of those customers that says, uh, just put a torque converter on my car. I'm thinking because looking at these covers right here, they got fresh RTV on them. I'm thinking somebody already been inside of you. The cover to replace this torque converter clutch solenoid, which in my opinion never fails. I have never, I've been doing this a long time. I have never put on one of those clutch converter solenoids, okay? They don't even call it that anymore because it was misleading the consumers into thinking if they have that code, they automatically need a torque converter clutch solenoid. Here's the old torque converter. He may be right. I don't know. Now, if he looked at one of my videos, which is all over YouTube, I go a step further. I don't just replace the torque converter. I do the front pump as well because the torque converter rides on the shaft input clutch assembly, which is in turn bolted to the front pump. All right, so I always go a step further and do the front pump and a torque converter. That's all if the insides are okay. Guys, I didn't scan this thing. This is one of those, you trying to get out of diagnosis, just put a part on and do what I say and I'm going to pay you whatever you charge and blah, blah, this. So I have no stake in this diagnosis, whether it's right or wrong. I think he's just trying to get rid of that check engine light, which is P0740. Replace the torque converter. That's the old one. Here's the new one. I'm going to put it back in, go drive it and see what happened. I'll let y'all know in the comment section. Thanks for watching. More than burnout. Holy, holy crap. <laughs> oh my goodness. One of those burnouts going wrong, out of control. Burnout going bad. It's not exactly total, guys, so it can be fixed with a few front end parts. But again, uh, if you can't handle the power, don't punch it. Okay, it's as simple as that. I don't know what happened. This is a black charger with a 392 in it. Now, I wonder what they bill going to cost. Ooh, righty guys. Guess what? I'm in shock, guys. Uh, they called a customer and explained to him what's going on and told him he may very well be a, uh, need an engine. He bulked real hard. He said he don't care. Uh, go ahead and take a chance with the new oil pump. Guys, we have had a little success, not cleaning this out, but had success at installing a new oil pump and the car turned out all right. Now, they did, however, get me some of this, so I'm going to try to use this and see where it takes me or where it leads me. After reading the instruction, guys, this is supposed to work over time. In other words, every oil change, you push this in and it's supposed to circulate to help break it down. Not a one-time, one-shot deal, all right? I'm not going to spend a lot of time uh, doing that or putting the oil pan back on to run that. I will, however, I may have to do that. So I have to see, guys. I don't know. It's a, when I get here in the morning, I'll figure out what I'm going to do. But I'm going to try to get most of this out because I do have the okay to go ahead and uh, put this new oil pump on here. But I'm going to see what I can do with some of this. See if I can break some of this down, guys. I got work to do, man. Y'all stay tuned.